Tonight with one man's drive to recreate a vintage vehicle and restore a family legacy. CTV's John Venavalli Rao on the unveiling. And with that, the wraps came off a blast from the past. Automotive enthusiasts gathered at a Burlington car club getting their first look at the Fossmobile, a replica of a car that was driving around on Canadian streets long before Henry Ford built his famous Model T. If you ask a lot of people, sir, who built the first car, whether you say Canada or not, a lot of people go right to Ford. This is the replica or tribute Fossmobile. Earlier, Ron Foss showing us the vehicle his pioneering grandfather built in 1897. A car originally made out of old bicycle frames. It was the first in the country to successfully run on a gas engine, an accomplishment nearly forgot. I felt my grandfather deserved the recognition, and I felt Canadians needed to know. George Foot Foss was a bike mechanic and blacksmith who ran a shop in Sherbrooke, Quebec. After driving an early electric car during a trip to Boston, he set out to improve the design. He figured he could go further using gas. And soon enough, he was driving around, apparently scaring children. Some people, I think, thought he was demonized in some way because it looks like a buggy running down the streets with no horse. <laughs> Foote sold the car in 1902 for $75, and the one-off was never seen again. So enlisting the help of local tradespeople, Ron Foss set out to make a copy. There were no blueprints, so it was reverse engineered using photos. They found period correct parts, restored what they could. The car had no seat belt, a top speed of 24 kilometers an hour, and no brakes. There is not one safety feature on this car at all. It'll eventually end up alongside others at the Canadian Automotive Museum in Oshawa. But first, we'll head for Sherbrooke to mark the 125th anniversary of that first drive. John Venavalli, Rouse, CTV News, Burlington, Ontario.